it is much to my own shame that I had not until now seen How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I don't even remember ever having watched this as a child. To be honest, I don't think I ever had any encounter with any Dr. Zeus story until I was maybe in my early 20s. So I'm very late to the party, but definitely better late than never because this is a delight, both in terms of the story, the rhyme, the animation, it is absolutely delightful and there's a very good reason why it's very popular. This was released in 1966, directed by Chuck Jones and Ben Washam, written, well, originally of course, written by Dr. Seuss. We have additional material by Irv Spector and Bob Ogle and we have the brilliant Boris Karloff narrating this and June Foray as Cindy Lou Who. And of course it tells the story of the Grinch who does not like Christmas, he hates Christmas, he hates seeing the Who's of Whoville enjoying themselves during this festive period. So he goes out of his way to do everything he can to make sure everybody has a miserable Christmas. Will he succeed? I'm not going to answer that question, of course, just in case, like me, you had never seen this. I have, of course, seen the film of The Grinch. And to be honest, while that one's visually so much more creative and thrilling, there's something quaint about the animation style here, and particularly of the Grinch himself, that I kind of don't have a favourite. I like both of them for for very different reasons, but also kind of the same reason in that it's a beautifully executed narrative that's an absolute delight to watch and is great festive fun. And interestingly, when I watched The Grinch, the, the film with Jim Carrey, I never really drew parallels between it and The Nightmare Before Christmas. But watching this, I kind of saw elements of The Nightmare Before Christmas in The Grinch. The story's not the same at all. The stories are completely different. But just for some reason, for the first time, I actually saw some parallels. And the story itself is beautifully executed. It's 26 minutes, so it's a much quicker way to enjoy the narrative than the more recent film. And it's obviously very brightly coloured and visually very beautiful. We have a lot of kind of blocky colours. There's not a lot of shading going on here. Um, so it's very vibrant and maybe a little bit in your face at times. If you're looking for a very soft Christmas film like the snowman we're not getting a, a very delicate animation it's much more striking than that but that kind of goes well with the fun quirky nature of the rhyme and i just love the narration for this i think it's absolutely fabulous and so beautiful um very well articulated and an absolute pleasure to listen to obviously the narrative is one that is now very classic had i never heard of the grinch before and, and, you know, this was my first look at the Grinch. Certainly I wouldn't like the character. I'd maybe hate the character, but I'd love to hate. But I do have a bit of a soft spot for the Grinch, mainly because I'm somebody who doesn't always buy into the very heightened commercialism of Christmas. And sometimes I can kind of see where the Grinch is coming from that some people maybe go a little bit overboard. But hey, if it makes them happy, what's the problem? Who are they hurting other than the Grinch? I really enjoyed it. I can see why it's very popular. I'm not going to say I preferred it to the, the film with Jim Carrey because they're very, very different. Um, obviously very similar in terms of the narrative, but the experience is very different. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. If, like me, for whatever reason, you haven't seen the 66 animation, definitely check it out. I think you'll find it to be delightful.